Yo, what is up, YouTube? And welcome to part one of our little mini scheme out of the Houston, Texas playbook out of the formation Trips Tight End Flex. Now, this is going to be done in two parts. The first part are going to be the plays that, hey, this is what you actually would come out of the huddle in. Right? So we're going to cover three plays here. And then in the next video, we're going to go over how you should set up all your audibles, right? You're obviously, we're using stock audibles, we're not changing the audibles, but how to run the plays and how to complement them off of each other, right? Uh, if you know me, Cece, I've run this formation extensively in the past, and uh, that's why we're giving it to you guys now uh, for free on YouTube, right? Can't beat that. And if you guys want to see more from the Houston Texans playbook, there's a guide and uh, you guys can go head over to MaddenTurf.com and go check that out. Uh, but we'll, we'll, let's cover the plays, right? Let's cover the plays. Let's get into the details here. Uh, the three plays we're going to cover are Level Sail, Fade Smash, which is very, very particular when you should run it, and Halfback Angle, right? Uh, so really, what I'm going to be coming out the majority of the time in is Level Sail or Halfback Angle, right? Those are our two... I mean, those are the two best plays in the formation, right? But they're not audibles, so we need to pick which one we're going to come out in. Uh, so we're just going to pick random to go against here, right? Now, you can adjust out of level sale if you want to. Uh, sometimes people like to streak this inside receiver. Uh, other times you just like to do nothing, right? So your read system is very, very easy here. You're always going to read the running back first to see if he's open, right? If he's not open, you're not going to throw it to him. You're going to try and make a high-low read on the right, and then you're just going to read the multiple crossing patterns coming left to right across the screen. Right? Very simple. And if you see man, you, that corner route's generally going to be the way you're going to throw the ball. Um, another thing that if you see a lot of man, uh, something like this where it may not be man press, I enjoy slanting this B receiver sometimes. He does help get open. Uh he provides a little bit of space, but he also provides a little bit of a quicker read because when you're running a lot of these baby in routes, uh, you're not always going to, you know, be able to get the ball off super quick because they do develop. They take a second or two to develop, right? Um, and as you see there, it gets open a lot quicker and it's a lot easier. But levels is such a great play. It forces your opponent to start taking the flats away especially on that right side, you're truly, truly forcing them to take an entire side of the field away. And you have to love that, that that's exactly what you can do, right? Uh, so levels, amazing play. Again, you can run it stock. You can slant this man. You could streak him if you really want to. If you know there's no pressure coming, the reason why you would streak him is it actually helps, you know, push that safety back for that deep in that you're running, that 15-yard dig. Uh, we'll see if we can get time here. Yep. So there you go. That's exactly why you would do that. So it just depends where you're trying to attack on the field. But levels is an amazing play. Uh, and it's, it's back to being a good play again this year. It's back to being a good play this year. Simply that running back route is amazing. Uh, so let's go over the next one. And the only time you would ever really want to run fade smash, in my opinion, is if you think they are running cover two. Uh, so let's pick a cover two here, right? If you think someone is in cover two, fade smash is great. If you don't know if they're in cover two, don't run fade smash, right? So this is the adjustments I'm going to do. I'm going to put the left of screen receiver. The X is going to go in a baby out. And what we're going to do here is it's going to be able to attack just like that against cover two. It's going to work, you know, 90% of the time against cover two, right? Uh, but if it's not cover two, well, it doesn't work so hot, right? It won't work so hot there. That route's not going to get open. Uh, so as a bailout route, you know, I usually like to put the tight end on something. I mean, he just has to be on anything, really. Because if he's on a curl, he's really just standing still. And if he's just standing still, that's not going to help us at all, right? So that's Fade Smash, cover two only, cover two only. Now, the play that I have run into the ground over the years is halfback angle. And we could run it against absolutely anything. The adjustments I do 
is I flat the inside slot receiver Y there and I hike and you just make a very simple read set if someone is playing man right if someone happens to be playing man against you both those out routes destroy man and if you learn how to pass lead them correctly time your passes all that good stuff it's 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 a touchdown versus man coverage generally right otherwise if not then you're going to be playing a high low game on the left with a running back angle route which you can you know pass lead very well in this game is going to be open a ton right now what i find a lot this year is that that flat route is actually going to be open way more than other routes because it's essentially you're applying a smash concept without running smash right so it's going to be open now what you do need to wait for is you need to wait for that receiver to turn around before you throw it to him uh, anytime you put a receiver on a flat if he doesn't really uh, get to turn around yet the ball is probably just going to hit him in the back of the head and that's not what you want to do uh, so like this is this is easy for me to run against the computer the computer would never ever stop me running this play here uh, but like I said I've been running this for years my reads are so on point uh, and hopefully you can get yours too because this play is amazing and this this may be one of the best plays in the game this year you see man coverage touchdown right this play may be one of the uh, the best in the game this year not to pull a route combo but it is right so this is what's this is uh this is what you guys are going to want to run and come out in like i said for the most part you're going to want to come out in this or level sale anytime you're running this formation uh we will cover the audibles in the next video the audibles for your information are stick inside zone verticals and pa crossers they're the same audibles that i have worked with historically so hope you guys enjoyed this video take these tips go into practice mode and while you wait for you know part two to come out practice your levels practice halfback angle get those reads down so that you, i mean you could just take those into a game and you'll probably be successful at that point but once we get to the second part with the audibles it'll help complete your game 100 percent so again if you guys enjoyed this please go check out our guide on madturf.com uh, it's a new houston texans offensive guide and uh i will see you guys on the sticks